Well, got another tear down on my workbench in the warehouse. And this is an ISCO model 2350. Um, thingamajig. <laughs> I don't know what it does. I think it's related to the other piece of ISCO equipment I tore apart because they were tied together. I believe it's like a pump assembly of some sort. But I'm just gonna start tearing them down. <laughs> also, fair warning, this may be noisy. I'm using my drill and stuff's gonna get banged around. Alright, here we go. sheet of aluminum like the other one. I'll have to do a little bit of cleanup on this one because there's some some screws there so yeah that's just a scrap metal thing though. They pay you better if the aluminum's clean. No brass or steel or stainless or other metals. It's interesting. This would have been connected to something. Looks like there was a cover that was missing on this side so there must have been a canister of Maybe gas or something that went there. I don't know. Pressure equilibrium. Hmm. Oh, and this pump's a little bit more exciting. Look at that. Well, I guess it'd be easier to look at it if I zoomed in. Big uh, flywheel there. Oh. Can't spin that by hand. At least not by the spot I was touching. <laughs> Interesting. Oh wow, there's a lot going on in here. I don't know where to start. Zoom back out. Hmm. Well, I guess I'm gonna start on this side. Nope, I need my number two Phillips. Which I think I might have misplaced this. Let's see, I think I might have misplaced that. I think I broke that loose. There's just so much going on in here. it's going to take to get that out. Decided not to wear gloves on this one. There weren't any chemicals in the other one, so I'm going to hope for the best. Not that it mattered with those gloves I was wearing because I doubt they were chemical rated of any kind and I kept tearing them on all the little pins and stuff sticking out of the through hole components. Trying to remove these connectors without cutting my hands open. Let's see if I can just pull this out cables and all. This circuit board is going to be a little bit more exciting than the other one. I think this unit had more brains than the other unit, basically. I think this unit might have like been part of controlling the other unit, which is why there's this uh, ribbon cable that goes to a, I think it's a 2510D sub connector. Oh my goodness, it's on there tight. Should be wearing gloves. I cut my finger open on something. <laughs> Wouldn't be the first time. Luckily my tetanus whatever is up to date.
got to be an easy way to do this. It doesn't involve cutting my fingers open. There we go. And cut this one off. I don't care about this. There we go. Oh, a couple bodge wires. And let's find... So this is the PCB out of the other piece of ISCO equipment I tore apart. Which is basically about half the size. Oh, I got some random Intel chips here. Sadly, I don't look this stuff up as I'm doing it, so it'd be up to you to look them up. <laughs> Ouch, I think something got my finger. And then what I believe, uh, that one I believe is a logic chip, 7400 series. P8032AH, well, Intel processor there from 1980. Everything's kind of every which way on this board from a label standpoint. So I'll save this, kind of look at it, figure out what I want to do. Don't need to leave this piece of aluminum on there though, that can get recycled. Also has a nickel metal hydride battery on it like the other one. Kind of an interesting choice. Hmm, trying to figure out the best approach here. Ah! Ooh. Ouch. I'm glad I didn't hit that at a different angle. Oof. This encoder wheel is a uh, piece of stainless steel. Thought for sure I cut my finger. Oh, I'm not even zoomed out. You missed the action. I was pulling this cable up down here where my fingers are wiggling on the right side of the screen. I went sideways and luckily I grazed it at an angle where it couldn't cut me. I mean, it probably shaved off the layer of skin on the surface, but it didn't like cut into the skin, so. Dodged a bullet there. Oof. There's a lot of resistance in this. Once it gets to a certain point, it doesn't want to flip. I don't know if there's a valve or something that can be opened. Maybe now it'll pump. No, there's something internally that's resisting. It just doesn't want to go. That's funny. Alrighty, I think here. I think I'm going to have to get medieval on this and start cutting wires out of my way. It's not like that wasn't going to happen anyways. I might save those binding posts. I want to make some custom mounts and uh, wiring setups for my bench power supplies. Mostly the ones that have outputs on the backs, the HP ones that I have, they're really annoying. <laughs> Let's see if I can save this fuse holder. Mm. Through this D sub connector here. Wait, do it with the drill. Hmm. This side don't want to come off. Just violence it off. All right, well, we'll just cut this cable. Either way, it gets recycled, so it's not like it matters how I do it. 
potentiometer here. like it's doing weird things it's because it is <laughs> trying to work around the tripod right here let's see about oh no I lost one of my bits hmm it's the one I need to there it is. What else can we hit? Hmm. That might be quarter inch. to heat sink the transistors for this one. <laughs> Darn it. Hmm. much stuff in my way. Stuff needs to go. feel like I accomplished anything here. This is still holding on. All right, the support arm's in my way, so it needs to go. Everything's in my way. Ugh. Guess we're gonna get the front display here in theory. I think. Nope, <laughs> I can't. There's just screws on top of screws. With PCBs in the way. That's a piece of steel. Yep. It's too heavy to be aluminum. <laughs> That's why I move this. like there's some bodges on the back of the board. It's a hefty piece of aluminum. It's 
So I'm guessing the purpose of this board is a lot of motor driving circuitry and logic. A couple transistors on it. Oh look! I'm surprised it's the first one I've seen, but a little 555 timer there. Not sure what a LM311N or LF353N is. But, yeah. I believe, I don't know if those are capacitors. I was going to say, I believe those might be relays, but they're uh, capacitors. Well, at least save the uh, 555 timer chip. There's the back side. I'm guessing these were intended, but a lot of this other stuff, just random little bodges. And then this connector that has a bunch of wires going to random points of the circuit board. All right, well, I think the next thing I'm gonna have to get out is the pump assembly. But I'm not certain how quite yet. I have to look to see what this chip is, see if it's worth saving. LM339N. I don't think it's an op amp or anything useful like that. Let's see here. are binding, but I can't get them out. <laughs> Alright, another sport bar down. Ouch. I know there's these big, probably nylon screws in the bottom that need to go. I think. Oop. Nope, those don't want to churn. Hmm. Whatever these stainless steel bits are, I don't really care about them, so they are going to get taken apart. There we go. Nope. Probably shouldn't have this at eye level. <laughs> Especially if it's high pressure. Long threads on that. Wow. Keep going. There we go. This should all be just stainless steel. Yeah, it's all non magnetic stainless steel. I'm sure there's a more appropriate name for it, but I'm an electronics recycler, so <laughs> if, if it's non-magnetic stainless, that's all I care about, because that's what I get paid for. Might need a wrench for that. Let's see if I have... Here. Grab the first one I find. Oh, look at that, it fits. Oh, a little pressure release there. <laughs> oh, kicking stuff. It's the same size of, t or style of tubing. 
let the other stuff use. So I'll save that. This isn't getting saved though. Uh, that's not going to go through without me removing those. I wonder if I can do that with the bit. Yep. What quarter inch plastic tie downs or whatever. Still not certain how to tackle this pump. Nice little bit of foam isolation there. Oh, not isolation. Oh, wow. Some gears in there. I was wondering how that uh, connected to that flywheel. Or wait, it's not even a flywheel. Hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Just throw it off to the side. Apart. Is this stainless? Seems to be. I think I have to be able to remove these uh, screws on the bottom. I wonder if they're Hmm. I don't know. Well, they definitely don't like to go counterclockwise, but they'll go clockwise just fine. Try when I have a bird head up. Yeah, if I try to turn it clockwise, it just doesn't want to go. Well, I just snapped that one by turning it. Hmm. Clockwise. A lot of force, and I just ruined that one. <sighs> hmm. Ouch. Just got too many different things in my way. <laughs> screws on the bottom holding me up here. <laughs> Too soft to squeeze and uh, loosen very easily. Just wants to collapse. I think I'm just going to violence them off. Pop it off with the screwdriver maybe. Oh man, what a pain. I'm guessing that they used these uh, presumably nylon screws for vibration reasons. There we go. <laughs> oh man. Just kind of doomed for failure there.
Ah. <laughs> Good thing I missed. That would have hurt. Try doesn't help that I have this on, uh, on its side while I'm trying to mess with these since it's putting them under a load. I can't imagine these four things, screws, are the only thing holding this on, but it's starting to feel like it. Hmm. Yeah, it might be. Also, I'm surprised they use stainless steel for the rotary, rotary encoder. That's, uh, I'm assuming it's stainless, I guess. Yeah. That's pretty aggressive. <laughs> Still wants to hold on. Little nub of plastic that's uh, giving it something to hold on with. Ouch. So many sharp corners. I think there's some other stuff hanging me up here as well. really would like to reduce the amount of stuff in my way. Oops. Not that it's gonna help or matter. Yep. Can't get to it anyway. <laughs> Arg. Now I'm just starting to get annoyed. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Definitely not fun to tear this one down. I don't think that's the right size fit. There we go. Hmm. How many? Hmm. This is like the most difficult part of the tear bound. I don't want to destroy this. Well, I think I'm going to take this apart. But need a bigger bit. Put my safety glasses on, I see some really aggressive looking screws holding that together. Let's see if I have the right hex bit for that. Also, can't go there. Gonna loosen this one a bit. Should be enough. No, nope, might not be spring loaded. Hmm. A little stainless steel as well. Nope. But I like saving these kinds of screws for no particular reason. There's a lot of stuff I save for no good reason.
Oh, I'm gonna keep the safety glasses on. Oh, alrighty. Well, I need to go wash my hands. I'll be back. Well, I'm back. I don't know what that chemical is. Probably shouldn't have sniffed my finger, but it has no odor to it, so. <laughs> and it's pretty much evaporated by the time I got to the uh, sink. So I don't know if it's like some sort of rubbing alcohol or some other really exciting solvent. But, oh well, live and learn. I should have been wearing my gloves like I originally was. Hmm, I got all my gloves. Tried to spread out so it evaporate faster and it's making my hands feel cool. <laughs> oh boy. Well, if I lose a finger, or I die from touching it, you'll get a video. Well, not if I die. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I don't know. Hopefully it's nothing serious. In theory, the place that this came from, since they sold it to me, would have uh, removed any dangerous chemicals. I don't know. The same place is supposed to remove hard drives or erase them before they give them, or well, before, ouch, before I buy the items from them, but they don't do a very good job of that either. Luckily, I wipe their drives or destroy them anyways, but yeah, it's large corporations for you. Nice little potentiometer there. It's uh, five kilo ohms. So, yeah, that'll go in the safe pile. I'll take it off that uh, steel plate that it's on. Still can't get that off after getting mysterious chemicals all over me. A lot of it's evaporated. I'm sure some of it went down the little drain in my table that goes to my little bucket where all the screws are supposed to go. Wearing my safety glasses now, so hopefully nothing goes spraying in my eyes. I don't know what it is. Little control board. And I'll just go there for now. Not get this apart. Oh, hopefully, this chemical that came out of this isn't too dangerous because I'm contaminating all my tools with it. With by touching the gloves and everything, and then touching the chemical. I couldn't even find any manuals on this thing, so that was kind of annoying. There we go. Is your stainless steel line? Understand how this works. It's a ginormous piece of stainless steel. At least for, for whatever it does, I don't know. It's ginormous to me. <laughs> Just some pins that feed into there. I'm guessing this is a motor. I probably shouldn't be sticking my finger in there. 
I don't know where I punctured my gloves. But there's this weird little wavy membrane here over presumably some holes that go to these pipes. Yeah, I don't know. Taking that apart was a bit of a mistake. <laughs> Out of my way now, and most of the liquid evaporated, I think. Kind of a vinegar smell I'm smelling right now. Hmm. Oh, nuts. Oh, well. That's precisely why I'm tearing this apart on the teardown. My, my main teardown bench, or whatever. The table I tear stuff down on, that's where I take my photos for my eBay pictures. this pump assembly to come out. little nylon bits and there's the uh, gear assembly motor output reducing gear and this is also reducing gear there's a set of gear teeth on the bottom of this plastic one apparently they felt they needed a point to fail just in case because um, it could have made that out of all metal otherwise but generally when they use a plastic gear like that between metal gears it's because they need a point to break if something goes wrong I don't think I'm gonna be able to get that apart without causing myself some risks so I think I'm gonna call it quits on the pump assembly unfortunately Let's see if I can rotate Oh, that's why it's so hard to rotate. It's a giant lobe. Can I spin it this one? Yeah, so it's a lobe that pushes in. I was trying to spin it backwards, which made it difficult. Ouch! Oh, got my fingers in the way. <laughs> So, yeah, this will get recycled. And I think that's the end of this. Oh, I messed up. I forgot there's the uh, front display unit. I'm going to get that out real quick. It's probably going to look similar to the other one. The drill's right here. I don't know why I'm not using it. Too long. different. The other front display had a bunch of buttons on it, I think. Nope, I guess not. So, it's like the same MN4514B. I'm assuming that's some sort of display controller chip. 
but yeah, hopefully whatever chemicals were in this uh, aren't harmful. I tried doing some research beforehand, but I kind of struck out, so since I spilled something on me, I'm going to try again and then see what happens, but thanks for watching.